Hi, we're Rainy Day Dreamers. And today we're trying out another toy that might be right for the pool. We're not sure if this will actually work that far away from the remote control. It's a remote control swimming angelfish. Rainy Day Dreamers. Rainy Day Dreamers. Found this cute Aquabot remote controlled swimming fish over at Toys R Us. Goes for just under $20. Now what we're not sure is what kind of range this little tiny remote control is going to have. If you can actually swim it around in a pool or only in a sink or a little uh, bowl of water. But we will find out. If you can't find this locally, we'll put a link to it down below this video. Roxana, do you remember the last robotic fish we did a review of? Yep. The zombie, right? Yeah. <laughs> the zombie fish. This is much cuter than that glow-in-the-dark zombie fish. I think this one may have a light on it. I woke it up already. These Aquabot robotic fish, I think they go to sleep after a certain amount of time. So if you leave them in the pool or in the water, they don't end up using up all the battery. This remote control is seriously tiny. There's a front back, left and right. That seems to be it. Not sure if you can hear in the background. The popsicle truck is making the rounds in our neighborhood. All right, here's the remote. Um, front back, left, right. I'm thinking there's no up and down. There is this switch here. I think that's just for the different channels. So with the fish, the tail is the only part that, that moves by the motor that I know of, um, and it can be removed and put back on. There are two batteries in this, two hearing aid batteries. I don't know if you can see the little black bumps on each side. Those are the points that when they're short-circuited by the water, it activates the fish. You can simulate that by putting your fingers on them and the moisture in your skin will short-circuit it, get it to start swimming. There goes the tail. You can see the red light inside. We like these lighted fish, don't we, Roxana? Yeah. They're cool to see swimming around the pool at night and mysterious. And when you take them out of the water or stop the short circuit, it stops swimming. Now, I don't see that there are any other parts that you can control left and right and up and down, like this remote suggests you can, but let's activate it and see. There's a little tag here to pull out to activate the remote control. Okay, now... Yeah, the, it doesn't do anything to the fish if the fish isn't activated, so we need to have the fish in activation mode. Okay, and then let's try, this can't be forward and backwards. Oh, it's fast and slow, I think. Fast, slow. Because I was thinking fish can't go backwards, can they? In real life, fish can't go backwards, so okay. So, that, so there's fast and slow, and then what's left and right? Oh, cool, look, it does, it's like a rudder. We found the instructions finally wrapped inside the labeling of the package. We read that and we tested it out some more. It turns out the remote control does do left and right for the fish. So if you activate it, you will see there it's going both left and right. Now here, this will control the speed. I'm gonna make it go medium speed and then one side and you'll see it only flaps to one side. When I push the button for the other, only flaps to the other side. So you actually can steer this left and right, fast and slow. Okay, Roxana, drop the fish in. And it should start swimming on its own. There we go. Now let's just see what it does by itself first. I like the colors on the side. They look kind of silver and shiny. Yeah. It's and something like a real fish. Go ahead. The light inside of it, mm -hmm. I think, would be very helpful if, like, you were trying to spot it in the middle of a pool. Mm. Well, you could just look for the little red moving light. Yeah. Okay. Now, it should sometimes dive to the bottom, sometimes float to the top, swim left, swim right, fast and slow. Just a variable pattern like a real fish. It does look pretty good, don't you think, in terms yeah. of being realistic? All right. So, go ahead and try the remote. Try the uh, fast, one that we think makes it go fast. So, so long as you're holding the button, it keeps swimming fast, it looks like. Which makes it dive, really. Yeah. Okay, and then try, I guess, slow. What we thought was backwards originally. Okay, and then when you let go of all the buttons on the remote, then there's no signal. It stops doing everything. It floats to the surface. That's good to know, too. Yes. Okay, now try the other buttons and see what happens. Jimena, you came to join us. Hello. Hi. Jimena is going to test out the left-right part of the fish here. So go ahead and drop the fish in the tank of water. All right, try out just fast. Okay, now this isn't in turbo mode, so it's a little slower than when, Ro when Roxana did it. Okay, now do the slower speed. Okay, now you see how that works? 
Okay, so now I want you to go back to fast and then do the right turn. Now the problem is the, ta the tank is sort of round, so the fish just keeps following the curve of the glass. Now go uh, left, fast and left. But see, you can't see that the fish is going in a different direction. But if we hold the fish up and, and show it, it definitely is trying to go left and right. And we think that will, you'll be able to see that when we get it to the pool, which will be soon. Thank you very much for your help. We did find, as I mentioned, inside the labeling, that's where they put the instructions. And so we can't really see all the features of this without having it in a bigger body of water like at the pool, right? So we're planning to head down there soon. It's the 4th of July today, by the way. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. But the pool's closed today, so the lifeguards can be at their own party. So um, we can't test it out today, but we're going to take this fish as well as the last several fish we have tried out, last several robotic fish. We're going to take them all to the pool and do a big roundup of all the latest robotic fish, including this one. So we'll get an idea of how well this does swim left and right with the remote, and also the range of this remote, how far it swims away before you can't control it anymore. That would probably be better to find out before we take it to the pool or somewhere else and it turns out it swims away and we're out of control. But we will find out and let you know. We'll be doing that video soon. You can keep checking back for it, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up and you will join the dream team. It's raining at our house. Day to stay in and play or eat a big chocolate bar. Hang